I don't believe. I have doubts. What do I do? I've been in confirmation. I've listened. I've done all the work, and yet still I have these doubts. I've asked the questions to the pastor, and yet here I am, still doubting, still wondering, still not feeling like I really believe. Well, dear saint, you're not alone. Remember that even at the ascension, when Jesus rose and was ascending back into heaven, the disciples were still doubting, still wondering, still trying to make sense out of all of the events that happened when Jesus died and rose again and continued to teach them. Remember that your doubts are not something that you can overcome on your own. You see, oftentimes when we doubt, we think that we can do something to overcome that doubt. We identify our doubts by our feelings. I can get to the point where I feel like I have faith. Well, dear saints, that's just a rabbit trail to run down that will never lead you to conviction. Instead, listen to what Luther says in the third article of the Apostles' Creed. What does this mean? He shows us exactly what you're struggling with. I believe that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, believe in Jesus Christ my Lord or come to him. Did you hear it? Did you hear Luther identify what you're struggling with? I believe I cannot believe. And he's exactly right. You cannot believe on your own. Because belief, faith, is a gift from God. When we're struggling with these things, when we're struggling with questions of doubt and fear, we have to go back and find the answer where God tells us the answer is. St. Paul so clearly tells us in Romans 10, so faith comes from hearing, and hearing through the word of Christ. Not hearing what your friends are saying, not hearing what people say about Christianity, but hearing the very words of the gospel preached into your ears. That Jesus died on the cross, rose again, forgave all your sins, and that was given to you as a gift in the waters of holy baptism. And in that gift of forgiveness of sins and life, you were given faith to believe these things. We struggle with control. Control always wants to put believing on my shoulders. Did you hear it when we were talking at the beginning? I believe, or I have doubts, or I wonder. And that's all based in you. But we hear very clearly from St. Paul that faith comes from hearing God's word, and hearing God's word leads us to a rock-solid faith that trusts in him. The writer to the Hebrews reminds us, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for and the conviction of things not seen. Dear saints, lean into the word for that conviction of faith.